Okay, we are going to read this story. It's called They've Got the Beat. But before we do that, I want you to take your book and flip it to the end of the story to page 234. And on 234, before we start reading this story, I want us to learn this strategy. And this strategy is called Ask and Answer Questions. So I want you to listen to it as it reads it to you. Okay? And if you want to follow along in your book, that would be wonderful. And Answer Questions. When you read, asking questions helps you think about key details of the text that you may have missed or do not understand. Find text. Okay, so when we're reading today, <coughs> ask the questions as you read, and that will help you pick up those key details of this text that you might have missed or that you don't understand. And that's our vocabulary word for this week, understand. So as we're reading, if you don't understand something, stop and ask a question. And hopefully you can use the details to help you figure it out. Okay? All right, flip back to 230. Ray, would you shut the door, please? You shut the door. Our angry question is, what does learning about the world help you appreciate? So when we learn about the world, what are we learning and how can we appreciate that? Okay, 230, they've got the beat. I'm going to have a friend start up here, and I'll call on people to read. Um, I think I'm just going to call on today, okay? Because not everybody is in here. I'm going to have Libby start. Libby, hold on your mask and read really loud. Some students in New York really sing their hearts out. The, that's because they are in... The school. It's called chorus. Chorus at um, public 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 school. Twenty two. Stop there for a minute, okay? So she said some students in New York really sing their hearts out. That's because they are in the school chorus, or another word for chorus is choir. So when you would want to sing at public school, twenty two. Raylan, would you continue? But hold on your mask and read really loud. The students from Staten Island had a concert at the White House. They sang at a Hollywood Awards show. Audiences have clapped and cheered them on. These kids are always asked them to return. Okay, so they are from New York and Staten Island is where they had a concert at the White House. Raylan, what is the White House? Yeah, where the president lives. So they have sang where the president lives, and they sang on Hollywood award shows. So when you're watching TV and there's an award show, they probably sing on that show. Okay, I'm going to have Keith and continue. We're at the word how. How does it feel to sing on stage? I get nervous singing for a big audience. Her name, I believe, is Brianna Cristiano. Brianna Cristiano recalls. Here, 
for which school you're in. So that's why it's called Public School 22. That's just like their school number. Mm -hmm. Public School 22. Forest. Forest is divided. Divided. Divided into two groups. So there's 17 sopranos. I forgot. Mrs. Murphy forgot the tenor. That's another level of voices. How many tenors are there? Who can find that number? What do you think, Aria? Nine. I look again. Not quite nine. No. Take your finger. Go up the tenors and go across. It's at eight. There are eight tenors. How many bases are there? Tyson, what do you think for bases? What do you think, Tyson? Ten. Ten, you're right. And altos are the same. John, how many altos are there? Ten. Ten, good job. So you can see, they have a lot of sopranos. I should say a lot, but they have more sopranos than any other group. Look at that. Now down here it says Greg Burns, uh, I'm sorry, Brian Bird, public school 22 chorus teacher, plays piano to accompany the chorus. So he's playing along as they sing. So here's their teacher right here. Okay? Question, Raylan? What is like the red tenor? Tenor. So tenor, I think it goes soprano is the highest, then I think it's tenor, then alto, then bass. So bass is the very lowest. So that kind of goes in order. They should have put them in order, but they really didn't. But it's soprano, tenor, alto, bass. So that's the order of your voice pitch. Okay? All right, on the next page, musical expressions. This is our last page. Not everybody's going to get a chance to read. Sorry if you don't get a chance to read, but Ellie, would you start with being parked? Really loud, Ellie. Being part of the forest. 